On the border with India, we're taken down a dirt track by the river. Surrounded by a carpet of syringe wrappers, we see the evidence of Nepal's dirty habit. A cocktail of prescription drugs are prepared for the needle. This morning, it's the tranquilizer diazepam, genorphin, and a strong antihistamine, phenorgan. Straight into well-worn veins, this is a quick escape from grim reality. The T-shirt questions, do drugs control your life? The answer for these men is yes. Like the retail price is even much cheaper, right? So, but when they get it, they get it for like 80 bucks, right? So that's like 100 percent more. Okay. At 80 rupees, it costs just over one U.S. dollar for these concoctions, a fraction of the price of heroin. It's the only thing that matches the intensity, but it seems to do more damage to their veins. One of the users agrees to take a camera on his regular trip across the border, where the medication is sold readily to anyone who looks like they're from Nepal. No questions asked here, and with an open border, there's little the Nepalese authorities can do. But trade in Nepal's drugs capital is not a one-way affair. Driven out into remote farmland where the busy harvest season is coming to an end. Anil shows us some of what they've produced. Tiny mud huts are filled to the brim with sacks of cannabis. We're taken upstairs in one house to see more of the stash. We, this is all we, yeah. yeah. Now it's ready for delivery. Okay. And where is that going to go off to? India. India. All to India. Oh, also. Okay. <laughs> this year, there's been another crop too. Opium is turning a tidy profit for these farmers. Eventually, this chunk of resin could be cut up with other chemicals and sold on the streets of a western capital for hundreds of thousands of dollars. The farmers will earn just $350. Everywhere here, we're told the illicit trade happens with the knowledge and support of local police. I think the government is not really doing anything but instead they are just encouraging them to grow more marijuana and opium. The police are taking payments. It's an unfortunate thing to say, but if the politicians and bureaucrats, and especially police are involved, they are just hypocrites. It's of course not official policy, but the district police chief admits some of his men are turning a blind eye. And would you say that there's definitely no instances where police are getting a bit of a kickback for allowing their crops to, to grow? I don't know, I don't know. It, uh, no, uh, uh, it's an uh, individual thing, you know. Um, I don't know, some police may get involved in this thing, but um, I, don't, I don't have the I mean, uh, clear evidence, otherwise I'll take action against them. Nepal's drug problem is proving hard to kick. This is a poor country with a head-spinning addiction to the profits of the drugs trade. Hamish MacDonald, Al Jazeera, Birganj, Nepal.